Madame Ritsky, if I could start with you. Monsieur Legault made uh, some promises today to increase security. Do you, do you feel that they go far enough, or would you like to see more? Uh, well, uh, I'm still in M&A until October 3rd, um, and I'm very thankful for everyone who, who gives support online. I watched part of the announcement of Mr. Legault, um, but at the end of the day, the issue is still the same. The protection of every single m a in Quebec is under the ju jurisdiction of the National Assembly. That needs to be more effective. We need to have at the minimum the panic button for every m a We should have more protection when the threat becomes real. And there was one, one more thing I would like to add. Now I see a lot of people are talking about Premier Legault, the answer. I've went through a lot d during the last two weeks. His team has my number. If they want to understand clearly what happened and why the Sûreté du Québec cannot go further, they can call me. So we won't do like this back and forth with the media and Twitter or what. We just give me a call so we can at least settle that issue and moving forward to make sure we can protect the MNA, the executing MNA, and also some candidates who are facing threat. It occurs to me that an m a in, in your position is at a great de disadvantage during a campaign. If you, you know, in order to do the things that politicians have to do, uh, you know, go to door to door, shake hands, walk around shopping malls. Um, so it's an injustice in a sense if, if somebody's in your position and yet can't get extra security. Yes, it was, especially last week when we cannot identify the person and we didn't know who it was. And when we finally had an ID, we need to locate that person. So when I've been told to stay home because DSQ and DSPVM could not follow me because they didn't have jurisdiction, um, at that point I realized it didn't make any sense. Why is me who has to stay home? Why is me who has to feel insecure when the man was released last Friday and have been told, yes, do not approach Mrs. Risky. And by the way, you have five days to go and see your doctor and to get an evaluation. Seriously, everyone in Quebec has a, has a really hard time right now to see a doctor. But meanwhile, I'm the one who feels insecure. Not only me, have a, just a second. I have also to put my staff my staff is no longer going at the office. They are actually working from home. So when you attack an m and you're attacking the democracy. And it has to be very clear for everyone, something has to change to make sure that we can do our work, that we can feel safe, that we can actually speak up when we need to speak up without feeling that someone is gonna attack you on the street or someone <laughs> also wants you to die. So I hope my message is clear. Minimum, again, panic bottom and more security when the threat is serious. Uh, there's still another month in the campaign. What, what are you going to do for, the, for this month? Well, according to my doctor, I should stay home also. <laughs> but I have to say, uh, I don't want to give power to the people who want to threat me. I don't want to give them that power. So the good news today, I was my, uh, and yesterday I was my, I'm with my leader, and as you can see, there's a lot of safety, safety protection here. So that's a good news for me. Maybe I should stay with the camp and trail. <laughs> but uh, I have to put a big, fi big smile on my face and still campaigning. Thanks to all my colleagues here at the National Assembly, my colleague from the Quebec Liberal Party, but I saw all the other candidates from different parties who said out loud with feelings, this is not the Quebec that we want to live. And they all said in one voice, enough is enough. Leave the people alone. We want to bring more people in democracy. When we talk about problems, like we've seen, we've seen on the social media uh, issues regarding, uh, uh, regarding intimidation and threats like for, for years now. And now it's becoming outside. It's, it's uh, the prolonging. It's becoming real in, in the lives of people. Uh, and I think the responsibility that we all have is to calm things down, to send the message that we want to have a campaign when people are not going to be harassed, people are not going to be threatened. Uh, and again, it's the responsibility of everybody.